the new week has started and it has started off hectic <laughs> literally the moment i woke up and i woke up pretty late today like at around 11 a.m i walked out my door and was told that i need to go to the vet because my lovely lovely corgi of the family decided that he needed to sprain his leg today. Teddy is just like the rowdiest boy in the world, like infinite zoomies. He somehow sprained his foot and I had to take him and two other dogs to the vet and I was there for like three hours because why wouldn't I be there for three hours? Safe to say that whatever work I had planned for myself today was kind of derailed because of course emergency takes precedence over whatever plans I have and I am the one person in the family being unemployed that can afford to move around my schedule. One of my pet peeves is when I have an entire day planned and then something throws it off course. It's one of the things that frustrate me to my core as a person mainly because you know I have already emotionally and physically prepared for this entire schedule and then you're gonna tell me that I need to like do last minute adjustments. So it was a little frustrating for me to do that but above all also still trying to focus on the fact that life isn't always perfectly scheduled and I have to learn to go with the flow of things and to not be angry just because the way I wanted things to go isn't the way things went. That was something I had to ruminate on this morning because I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty fuming. I was pretty angry and really frustrated that I couldn't do my work today. But the more I sat with it and kind of analyzed why I felt the way I felt, the more I came to the conclusion that, yeah, you know what? It's okay to feel frustrated. It wasn't anything that I was expecting or was prepared to do. And deadlines that I created for myself need to be pushed back because I needed to accommodate this emergency. It's also important for me as a person to acknowledge that I need to help. I needed to step up to the plate and, and do it for everybody because everyone else is also busy and doing their own work. I think that's really important for me to like remember and maybe even for you guys if that's something that you haven't thought about. When things don't go your way, it's okay to be angry or frustrated or annoyed by it. But I think it would do us some good too to make that extra effort to acknowledge that the situation at hand is also important and is understandably far more a priority than what I had planned or what you had planned for the day. You know, it's an emergency. Of course it's priority. I hope I hope I hope that made sense. It was, it's just been a day for me and there was a lot of introspection going on and I don't even know if I explained it properly but yeah, that is the first insight of the week for this vlog. So my own personal deadlines are being pushed back but it's okay. I'm not gonna be worried about it. I'm going to make it work. If that means I need to cram to get it done, then I will cram to get it done. But it's okay. This is life. Shit happens. I gotta learn to go with the flow and create workarounds to make things work well. We're doing the entire forest. People have gone into this forest and have just disappeared, have just vanished without a trace. I have weeks where I am more focused on doing solid work than I am on my own way of living. I prefer doing things that I consider work like editing or filming things or taking photos for my platform than doing things like my workout, my meditation, my, my yoga. Cause that I don't consider work. And this week is one of those weeks where I'm kind of just, I have a lot of things to get done and I'm gonna get them done and I don't really give a crap about my workouts or my yogas or my meditation. And me being a perfectionist, right, it kind of goes into the whole unless you get all of that done, 
then you haven't been perfect for today. Perfectionism is both like a blessing and a curse. So yeah, if I haven't already talked about it on this channel, I am a perfectionist, a self-perfectionist per se. Like I'm not, I don't pressure myself to be perfect with things outside of myself, but when it comes to me and my personal lifestyle and way of living and who I consider myself to be, I have that constant nagging urge to always be perfect, which is honestly not healthy. It helps out with things like creation, where I make my YouTube videos or my content. I always get really anal and meticulous about certain things about it because I want it to look smooth and well produced, right? Like that's where perfectionism comes in handy for me. But it becomes a pain in the ass when it's perfectionism about how my day goes, the things that I'm feeling, how I react to things, and how I look, you know? Because that's not healthy. Most of the time, these are things I cannot control. And the fact that I can't control it for it to be the way I want it to be, which is perfect, it drives me insane. Because when I start to realize that I'm not perfect, because my brain tells me I need to be perfect. And it just spirals from there, you know? But that is something that I'm learning to work on. I'm much better at it now than I used to be when I was younger. Now I can determine when I'm having those unhealthy and negative thoughts and interrupt those thoughts so it doesn't continue. Now I can do that. Now I, I can learn to forgive myself for not being perfect because I shouldn't be perfect in the first place. But before it was just like a wild roller coaster ride of you're not good enough. See, this is just more proof of you not being good enough and stuff like that. What? How did we get here? I, I swear I had something to say. This turned into an insight. It wasn't that. <laughs> to connect it to what I was actually trying to say is that this week is one of those weeks where I just know that I can't be perfect and I shouldn't force myself to be perfect. So I want to focus on the things that are priority in my life this week than trying to get everything in perfectly. So instead of waking up early, doing my yoga or my workout, getting coffee, showering, and then proceeding to whatever work I have to do for the day, it's just do the work. Now I'm looking at this week and treating this week as a work up to next week where I can take this week to mentally prepare myself so that next week I can wake up early, I can do my yoga, I can do my workouts and still get the work done afterwards. I don't need to beat myself up for all the misses in my personal lifestyle that I made today. As long as I get my priorities done, then we can postpone the rest of my life to next week, you know? <laughs> Did you like the song? Yeah, yeah, okay. Do you think you listen to it again? I guess I felt like it. It's done! <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute! So the only thing left to do now is to wash this and then I can send it over to my customer. It's so, I'm so happy about this, it's so adorable. So it's got a front pocket. It also has a lot of space in it. I don't know if you guys can, can see it well. It's kind of hard to hold it up on its own. And it also has an inner pocket. So you can easily put things inside. Wait, wait, please say hi. Say hi.
I completely missed out on vlogging yesterday. I had intended to vlog at night before I went to bed. But that didn't happen because I ended up falling asleep way earlier than I expected. And by the time I woke up, I realized that I hadn't vlogged. Huh. But basically, what I wanted to talk about yesterday was I had this moment while I was showering where I was just standing there under the water, right? And I was thinking about how I really needed to get my shit together <laughs> this week. I feel like overall though with my life, I have pretty much gotten my life together. I mean, just the mere fact that I am constantly every day working on my self-improvement is a huge step for me already. But this week isn't one of those successful weeks in my opinion. For what I imagine my weekly goals to be, I am pretty much just getting by more than actually succeeding and overachieving. So like I said earlier at the start of this entire vlog, like this week is about working up towards next week where it's going to be back on self-discipline and, you know, independence and working on my healthy lifestyle and being consistent with everything. I kind of just wanted to let myself exist this week. And today, I finally got that itch to want next week to start so that I can get up off my ass and hit every goal I want to hit. And I think that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about, that within every personal slump or plateau in your life, there will always come a time where you will want to get back up. It may take a long time. Sometimes it might even feel like it's taking forever for you to feel that way. But at least in my case, it's pretty much a cycle. You know, I, I do really well. I feel really motivated. And if I'm not motivated, I still do really well because I've trained myself to be somewhat self-disciplined. And then I plateau somewhere along the way and I'm back to my old unhealthy habits. But then somewhere along the way of plateauing, I start to feel a fire light up under my ass, you know? I start to feel like, no, I gotta get up off the bed and I gotta hit every mark I wanna hit this week, achieve every goal I wanna achieve. And I'm going to be freaking amazing at it. Whether I fail or I succeed, I will have an amazing week, you know? I always hit that point of emotion that makes me want to do all of that. And then I build back up to succeeding again and being my the best version of myself. And I think it's just really comforting to think about. I mean, I feel like you can apply this to anything, you know? Not just when you're having bad weeks. Maybe you have a good emotional week or a good few emotional weeks and then you hit a wall, plateau, and have a few bad emotional weeks. But it's still comforting to know that somewhere along the way of that plateau, something could eventually trigger your mindset to turn it back around and say fuck it to everything that's happening and make you want to get up off your butt and work hard and be the best self you can be whether emotionally or physically or however way you want to be you know i don't really know what the title of this insight is because i don't even really know what i talked about like i feel like this wasn't a coherent thought to sum it all up things eventually do get better eventually works itself out and sometimes you just have to ride the wave of negativity you know if you're having pretty low emotions you gotta feel your feelings sometimes you can't just you know try to shove it in the back of your mind or keep it at bay sometimes you just have to feel your feelings and then eventually you'll find the light at the end of that dark tunnel and come to but it's always helpful for all of us to know that things will always work out you know they will always have a way of working out. And it won't always be all bad. It won't always be all great, but it won't always be all bad. Sometimes you just gotta ask the universe to show you how things will get better. And you might see it in tiny little bits of your day. Man, what even was this insight? 